Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is day three of the horrible weather and it is clearing, it looks sunny. It's not warm outside, it's a little rainy, it's a little yuck, but, but the goats are outside. Finally, they, they stayed inside for two days where it was wet and gross. Anyway, um, Sophie and I are working on a project I wanna share with you guys. You guys know that we are going to a baby shower. We said that we would make the prizes, so here, oops. I don't think you guys can see it very good, but whoops, shoot, that thing just comes right off. But here is a candle that we made. It says, proving once and for all, you're the ultimate baby shower game legend because it's a prize for like a baby shower game. So Sophie bought these. Actually, Sophie did the whole thing. She went shopping for the prizes. She bought everything. These are the, so we made two candles. They're two different candles, but this is the packaging that she got for them. Isn't it gorgeous? It's been fun making these putting together these prizes with a pig wandering around. Let me tell you, I've rescued everything out of her mouth. Who knew the pigs ate paper <laughs> and scissors and tape? What do you think these precious fat pig came from? <laughs> pigs eat everything, that's for sure. So that is the second candle that is a prize. And then we made these, so we bought everything. Those are like rose gold um, confetti paper stuff. And she bought the, it's a girl baby, so she bought like everything in girl colors. Girl ribbon. Uh, inside here are chocolate bars, Ferrero Rocher, some suckers, a big huge bag of Skittles. And then over here, she has some silver paper. Same thing, chocolate bars, candy. And then, then we have this one over here, which is a little bit bigger. And inside here are a bunch of miniature sized alcohol. There's like I don't even know what's in there, but it's heavy. <laughs> anyway, prizes, different prizes for everybody. We have one, two, three, four, five prizes. So hopefully there are only five games. Even though we're not throwing the baby shower, I wanted to participate in some way. And so I said that we bring, um, my sister's gonna bring all the games. I said that we bring all the prizes. So there we go, all the prizes. Sophie, honestly, it could be a party planner. That's how good she has at stuff like this. Like, I swear she was a party planner in her last life. We all have things that we're good at. We all have things that we excel at. We all have things that we suck at. And one thing that Sophie is amazing at is shopping. And people might not think that it's an actual skill, but it is a skill. I can't shop and I can't buy presents for people. I suck at buying presents. I like have... I have so much doubt, like whenever I'm about to buy something, I never know if it's something that the person is gonna like, so I shy away from shopping. I hate the whole experience of shopping. I don't like anything to do with shopping, which is why it takes me forever to buy a horse. <laughs> um, I just, I'm not a person that has anxiety. I don't have anxiety, but shopping for other people likely comes as close to being having anxiety as you can get. Like I don't have anxiety about it, but I just, don't feel like I'm in my element, if that makes sense. And Sophie can walk into a store and find, it's like she has tunnel vision and she knows exactly wh who belongs to what thing in the store. Like, it, it's a gift. And Sam was like that when he was younger, but now he's gotten lazy. <laughs> so now he doesn't shop as much as he used to. Now it's on me and Sophie. Look at all the extra stuff we have. Some horse trees. The worst thing that this pig does is what? What, what, what does she eat that's the worst? Everything. But what does she like? She's a chore. She is, what are you eating? She is a cord chewer, you guys. She chews cords. I'm already down one phone cord. So quick update on our pig before we head out to see somebody special today. But update on our pig is that she's been easy. She's been relatively easy. Oh, such a good pig. Such a good girl. She's just a well-behaved little thing. She chews baskets. <laughs> so her being bored has been a struggle. It's only, she's only bored when she can't get outside. The last couple of days has been in like a horrible winter storm. She doesn't enjoy being outside. I open the door, she runs out to pee and then she runs back in. So that's been hard. Even our baby goats, we let them out today and they were doing jumps and flips like crazy. Like they were so pent up. It's been difficult to find things that she enjoys to play with and to keep her busy but her diet's been going well. She's in great shape. She's not too chubby. <laughs> she's not too chubby. She's not too skinny. She's um, still settling in with the dogs. The dogs still aren't quite sure about her. Her best friend is the kitten. The kitten loves her. Apparently she loves squeaky toys. 
So I think the hardest part about the pig is that she's into a lot of stuff. Like she wants out of this room and she's bored. She wants to travel the house. But the problem is she's into the dog food. She's into like whatever she can get in. And I think that's probably the hardest part that people have when they keep pigs in the house is that they are into everything motivated by food. She's out there trying to find food all day, which is what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to roam free and look for food. So wrong food. <laughs> So she can smell food from a mile away. <laughs> she's getting, she's anticipating Sylvie pushing her away. <laughs> I don't even have to touch her. She just screams anyways. She has been so much fun. She loves me, snuggles me. She even kisses me. This mini pig is actually going to end up in the barn and we're gonna just make the barn as as nice and comfy for her as possible. She'll also have another pig friend when she actually gets to the barn. So she's definitely gonna go out to the barn. I think the hardest part for us is that when we let her outside, she's not fenced in. If she goes to the barn and we let her outside, she'll always be fenced in. So that's like our biggest struggle is just having to watch her constantly. Even though she's been incredibly good at watching us and making sure she never is out of our sight, she's been so good at that. But I always worry that she's gonna go missing, running down the road. Once she moves to the barn, we won't have to worry about that stuff. So annoying. <laughs> she's like having a little sister. <laughs> she is so cute. She's like, I know you have food, give it up. <laughs> Sophie has no patience for her. I got to name her, that's enough. As much as Sophie loves miniature horses and goats and big horses and chickens, pigs, sadly, are just not her thing and that's okay. She is a bit annoying, but we love her, I love her. And Sam loves her, Sam, she spends a lot of time with Sam. Okay, look at the cat. <laughs> this is how she sleeps. <laughs> Ellie's like, wake up, we're going outside. So today is a special day. We're gonna go see a special someone. He doesn't? No, he doesn't like anything. Oh, you guys probably already know, today's April the 5th, Stormy Boy's birthday, and we're so grateful to have him. I was the first one to tell him happy we are birthday. So, where are you? Yep. Anyways, this morning, before Gabby went to school. Your pig's not coming with us. Come on, piggy. Come on, Piggy Piggy! You know why she's not coming? She's in the chicken coop. Why is she in the chicken coop? Because she thinks there's food in there for her. <laughs> anyway, so this morning I asked Gabby, what do you want me to get for Storm's birthday? Like some kind of cake? Do you want us to make a cake? Do you want me to go to the tax store and buy some kind of treat? Listen, this is a problem. Out. Get your butt out. Go, come on, go running, go. Come on, follow. <laughs> come on. She doesn't like the horse bone. She doesn't like the horse bone. <laughs> Ellie, be nice. She doesn't understand yet if Ellie's actually nice. Well, she's playing with her, she's all dirty. <laughs> Pigs don't like to be dirty. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're sad, you just need to watch animals and you'll be happy. Come on, Piggy! She takes too tight of a turn. She takes too tight, too tight of a turn. And she's short, so she hit her belly just to Yeah, <laughs> she's short. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a mud puddle, there's a mud puddle. See if she goes to it. Yeah, she's already got muddy feet. So I asked Gabby, what do you want me to get for him? And she said, nothing. I said, what do you mean nothing? His poor little heart, we have to celebrate. And she said, Storm is so picky, he won't eat anything. Anything that you buy will be a waste. So we're gonna have to go get him carrots later. I don't think we have any left. And hope for the best because he hates food, but we do have something that he can have. Well, she's gonna say happy birthday to him when she gets home. But I'm gonna bring grain because it's the one thing he eats. Oh, Piggy, don't go under that door. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hide that and we're gonna sneak it to one horse first. And Grace is going last because she's the pushiest. Wait, wait, wait. So we got licorice. Sam and Sophie bought it at the store today. So how?
Oh my but it gosh. Tastes like, it tastes bad. It tastes like soap. So what do you want to do? Try and get them out first. Well, why don't we just call Storm over first to come inside? Stormy! Storm! Come on, Storm! See if it works. Oh, here comes Penny. <laughs> Let's do Penny. Come on! Everybody is Storm's friend, and we all get to celebrate. Oh, gosh, you have hay in your I hair. I just never had licorice. What do you think? Penny's like, I'll eat anything. Oh, they all have hair and hay in their hair. Hay in their hair. Hay in their hair. Here, you've never had this. She's kind of picky. She's kind of picky? She doesn't just eat everything. Oh, sorry. Don't, uh, don't be frustrated with me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. She's saving all the food for herself. Oh, here comes that birthday boy. Penny, be nice. Oh my goodness. I let them figure it out. <laughs> We're gonna let them figure it out. Penny, you have to leave. Come here, Storm. Storm's afraid of her. <laughs> her luck. Don't you dare come in here or I'll kill you, she says. Penny, you need some kind hormones. Sophie has a plan. She's gonna push Storm away. And then we're gonna get Penny out, and then we're gonna bring Storm in. Hey, shut your heart out. Go, Penny, out, go, get, go. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Go, go, outside, go, back up, back up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's put this here. I. Get behind her. No, Storm's still there. She won't go through a doorway if Storm's there. We love you. It's your birthday, but go. Hey, now you go. Get out there, Penny. Thank you. So that was the problem. She wasn't being obstinate or rude or mean. It's that she wouldn't go through there with Storm because she's afraid of him. Our horses are a disgusting mess. It's because it rained for two whole days. There's a pig in there somewhere. I do not know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Smile. Okay. Smile. Good girl. Storm's it. like, what about me? What? You don't like it. You just. All right, let's go to Storm. It is disgusting out here. I mean, it's not the worst. I mean, it's not the worst. Uh oh, there goes Ellie. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Did he eat the cat licorice? No, I didn't give it to him. All right, we'll give it to him. <laughs> He's like, I don't trust him. No, he likes it. It's his birthday licorice. Stormy, oh, comment oh. below. Look, he loves it. Oh my God, you actually ate something. <laughs> he doesn't like black licorice. Yay! Comment below if you know how old. Oh. <laughs> like Oops. So Look. wasteful. <laughs> Grace, you didn't like it either? Steven, these two. <laughs> hey, our handsome. Oh, I got the wrong so grain. Oh, well, this is the stuff they like the best, anyway. It's for your birthday. Comment below if you know how old Stormy Boy is. Don't be a mare. Just be a gelding for a minute. Boy gets all the treats. Happy birthday. Comment below when, how old he is, and I'm going to make another video that will come out on his birthday. I'm so excited. All right, you can have a little. Yeah. Because you can celebrate Stormy Boy's birthday, but you had licorice. I mean, he tried it at least. He didn't yeah. smell it and give up. Tomorrow it's look at there goes there goes Ellie. Ellie's so funny. She just races. Oh okay, my goodness! Yeah, <laughs> the pig is just running. <laughs> Honey and Willow. Have to well, she just them. wants to play with them so bad. If I let her out here, she'd probably just play with them. She'd probably just chase them. No, I don't think Posey would. Get out and die. I don't think Posey would. <laughs> Okay, she heard you. you. She heard you. She's like, I want to come. <laughs> she, hurry up, Mom. Just push. She bit Dad's butt today. <laughs> she bit Dad's butt? He screamed. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he, like, just poked himself. <laughs> with the water trough. And then he was there with her ears thin. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> she doesn't do that with me. Or you. No, I know. She says it with dad. I know. Well, he's such a softie. This, this is what he did. 
bad pony, bad. <laughs> but he shouldn't even do that. He should make her move her feet. Here. Is she? Oh, she's actually eating it. Is she? I can't see. Yeah, she's like, she's nope. Like, no. Penny will find it. Was Penny the only one? No, Willow. Willow oh, loved it. She gobbled it up. There's your treat. All right, well, let's take a, oh my gosh. What did you just say? Wonder if it's like her. What do you think? She eats a pee pads. <laughs> she eats paper. <laughs> There's nothing she doesn't eat. Oh, it's bad. Oh, no, she's still chewing it. Her out. Have you guys noticed how much bigger she's gotten? Like her body got longer. So she's maintaining like the same. Oh my gosh. Look at her little face. <laughs> You're all dirty. Honey, everyone else goes about their day. And honey, I know. Hey. She's such a people person. People horse. Hey. Like I said, today is the first day that the goats are on. It's muddy and wet and gross. Get out of the poop. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, Thank you, too. good girl. Drop it, come on. <laughs> Drop the poo, let's go. Oh, not that way. All right, we'll go this way. Look at that, you guys. She's go just like a dog. Right. Oh, I worry about her like not being behind the fence, but well, she actually like follows us. Oh, she's just like Ellie. Aww. <laughs> well, there's not a greeting party, so that's nerve wracking. Where is everybody? All right, let's see if Piggy will go in. You want to stay out here, Piggy? Come on. <laughs> what a smart Piggy. Come on. Hi, babies. So Posey, when she comes out, will actually be... Oh, oh the little baby's eating it. ...best friends with the goats. I forgot. <laughs> you guys won't like it. She might like it. <laughs> it looks weird. She likes Winston. it. Winston. Winston. Winston doesn't like it. This guy wants to eat my camera. She likes it. Yep, she does. Give some to Rosie, who's now my favorite girl. She's eating I'm it. I'm being attacked. Stop eating my goat. Blossom, what about you? you She's... Want to... Who wants it? Stop eating my butt. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> now, if he is not his father's son... <laughs> Oh, there she is. Give me a piece for this girl. Did she eat it? She doesn't like it. Yeah, Lola's really picky too. But little miss. She didn't like it either. Oh, they didn't like it? Ow. So, update on my new girl. <laughs> She's settling in. She's still low man on the totem pole. She's still low man in the herd, as you just saw. So cute. And what you guys don't know is that she is so super friendly. So at night we go into her stall and we pet her and she's so cuddly and so sweet. Hey. Okay. <laughs> All right, well that's good. It's a good day when it's somebody's birthday and when everybody is happy in the goat field. Boys are the worst. <laughs> Biting your butt. Yeah. It must be a butt biting kind of I'm day. You. I, I just get tripped. Let your brother have it. Look at her udder. It's so pretty. I love a pretty udder. All the babies are with me. And it's not even full. Imagine if it was full. So once we start milking, which is coming up soon, like in a week, and we'll let the udders fill with milk, and then we'll show you what they look like. And you guys can see. Oh, hi, Cricket. Oh, he is pretty darn cute. Stop eating my goat. Oh, you're heavy now. Jeez, dude. Yeah, he's got to be like 25 pounds, man. He's a big baby. Like Winston is seven weeks today, so he gets another week until he is separated from his family. And even after we separate him, we might bring him back for food visits. Like we might do supervised food no. visits with his mom. Tell me you're a mom without telling me you're a mom. If you were here when Storm and Gabby became partners, comment happy birthday below to Stormy Boy. Don't you know that you're